like a weird mishmash of different products to share with you today. So we're gonna kind of start in this, um, and I hope, <laughs> I know it's not gonna be very organized, but we're just gonna pop through this, and then Is you're gonna fun? learn about a whole, a lot of new products today. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is Pacifica. This is the fourth mailbox package that they've sent me in like two months. It is the uh, seven free nail color. Like I guess it's a gift pack, a trio. Um, I have actually only had one of them before and I think I got it in like a Nipsey or a Birch box and it was red and I don't like wearing a lot of red polish except for like during the holidays, you know, when you're supposed to be festive because red, especially that shade of red, doesn't look great on me. Um, but these polishes are amazing for the formula they are vegan they're cruelty free Toxic so they're free. yeah they're really great they don't have all the phthalates and the parabens and all that junk in it these actual colors are so gorgeous there's all kinds of colors that are in this set so which one are you doing uh let's do the we can just start here okay all right so dust memories and this one's kind of like a shimmery gray silver silver kind of color like a dark silver with some shimmeriness going on. Let's show you what it looks like as far as like. But like the silver is kind of cool because it's almost a blue. Yes, it is. See, it's very thick, so it's not drippy. It's actually it's very good coverage, and I think it stays on pretty long. So that's yeah, nice. it's like this Especially kind of shimmery, on. like gray blue. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's really nice. I love this one. Okay. And then this next one is Super Fox, which is a lighter shade of blue, but again, shimmery again uh, with the shimmeriness going on there. I love this and one. I think this is my favorite. really cool blue. Favorite of the three right here. Then the last one she got was Midnight Rambler, which is a very dark blue, which this one's my favorite. I think this blue is amazing. Mm. Just like sh that shade is really neat. It really is. I, I love it. And a lot of these other ones that they have, they look like there's some coral ones. There's yeah. some purples. There's actually clear and matte top coats yeah. too. So if you are looking for something that's kind of like a more natural thing to put on your nails, um, you should definitely consider this. Um, these are available at Ulta, it says, although I have seen them every once in a while, like one shade, I have seen them at Target, but primarily they're available at Ulta. So that's what I got for Pacifica. Next, let's go on to this. Now, um, I don't know if you remember in a previous Pacifica video, I talked about Isalon and how I got my hair color there. Well, um, as I was looking on their website, they had sent me like little packets of shampoo and conditioner to use after you do your hair dye. Um, so I was using it and I really liked it. So I was going on their site and um, I saw that they have this like subscription box kind of called the matchup. And like I think your first time in, like it's only costs like fifteen dollars to start up, and they give you three products for fifteen dollars, which is not a bad deal because it's like five dollars each. And then like if you can get two additional products for twenty five percent off each, um, if you're interested in that kind of a thing, like I think after that though it's thirty. But I did want to show you what I got anyway. Um, it says you've been matched, but anyway, um, yeah. So they will send it to you. Like, I think it's every month, I'm not sure. And then they give you this card. It says, congratulations, you just saved $30, which is awesome. But here's the card of the stuff that I picked. Now you can either go in there and pick stuff yourself, or you can be expertly picked by a stylist who will look at your profile and see what is best for your hair type, mm -hmm. and then send you that. But I decided not to go that way, and even though I was gonna go on there and get the, the Locket shampoo and conditioner, which is what I got in my original hair dye kit, I decided I was going to try something completely different. The first thing I have is this Big Love Volumizing Shampoo. I like the fact that there's like a little pump on there so you can just pump it up. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be uh, increasing the look of your hair volume, cleansing, seals and shine, and reduces static. And then I got the matching conditioner which is actually called Big Softy. I thought that was funny, Big Love yeah. and Big Softy. Um, so that's also the volumizing. And then I got this, which is the Get Heated Thermal Protect Hair Mist. So I have started like flat ironing my hair a little bit more. Like even today I tried like the curl with my flat iron. So I wanted to get um, some more thermal spray to protect my hair. So I got this as well to check it out. And it also comes in this cute little bag. Yes. So well, I thought that was cute. So yeah, if you guys are interested in it, in like this or the dye, I will leave the link down below. Um, if you are going for the hair dye kit, again, you can get $10 off 
your first order if you order with my link down below but if not like I don't know if you get anything off of this or not but you can go ahead and check if you are interested um, it's kind of a good deal yeah, for the first couple nice. months yeah all right so that's e salon so I have been kind of looking at makeup geek shadows and how cheap they are they're like six dollars right um a piece and the reason why they're so cheap i mean now they're kind of comparable to mac because mac decided that they were going to put all their uh, individual pan shadows from ten dollars to six dollars to basically compete with ColourPop and makeup geek after that happened makeup geek came out with this pack of like their nine best-selling shadows for like $25. Okay, so it's originally $6 and times nine, that's oh. that's like a huge yeah, savings, nice. huge. So I jumped on this and I was like, I'm probably not gonna buy a lot more Makeup Geek shadows unless I'm really in love with what this is. I actually bought those nine and then I got one extra one as well. There are different uh, finishes on these powders. Some of them are matte, some of them are duochrome, some of them are uh, foiled. Yeah, so it just kind of depends. So the first one I'm going to go with is this one, which is called Berry. And it is just a regular, it looks like pressed eyeshadow. Um, really cool. I like the blue on that. Ooh. That's really beautiful. I have Bedrock. So yeah, it's kind of grayish, but kind of also kind of going towards purple. Oh no, it's gray. Yeah, it's like a taupey like color. A yeah. All right, the next one I have is called Peach Smoothie. It is just a regular pressed powder. That's a really nice, like a neutral shade for like your transitional looks and bases and things like that. That's focusing more on my hand than on the. What's thing. it called? I don't know. Oh, it's, oh, on the oh, back. it's on the back. <laughs> it's Shimma Shimma. Shimma Shimma, Shimma, Shimma Shimma, which is a very popular one. Oh, yeah? um, is that a foiled or is that a... Pressed? It's just a pressed. Okay, so a lot of people like to use that as a highlight color. So Shimma Shimma is one of those that people love. Mm. And I have the other one that people love, which is called Mai Tai. And it's like a peach color, mm. but it's also duochrome. Which is one of those that means that if you look one way, it's like one color, and then you look another way, and it's like a different color. So yeah, that's Mai Tai. I know some people got like Mai Tai Shima Shima or another one I'm going to talk about in their boxy charm last month, mm -hmm. um, but I think I got a better deal. This one's Sorbet, and this is a pressed as well. It's kind of a pink, light pink kind mm. of color. Uh, kind of like almost a flesh pink. Yeah, like a peachy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one is called Daydreamer and it is a foiled, which means that it's going to look like like a piece of foil, like kind of the mm -hmm. more glitter, but not. I love that purple color. That's great. And then this one is another foil. Oh, no, it's not. It's pressed. Sorry, uh -huh. pressed. This is Fuji, which is like a green, like Oh yeah, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a cool green too. So this one actually did not come with the pack of nine, but I wanted to get it because everybody talks about this color and it's called Cocoa Bear and it is just a regular pressed one. And the story behind Cocoa Bear, if you don't already know, you're in the makeup community, you probably already know, that Marlena, who is in charge of the Makeup Geek line, she married um, a man who she calls Cocoa Bear. And so this color is named after him. It's beautiful brown. I love it. This one is a foiled eyeshadow, and this one is called In the Spotlight. So this one, there it is. It's got like a shimmeriness going on there. It's That's like awesome. Oh, I like that one. Brown. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. So yeah, those are all the Makeup Geek shadows that I got. So I'm super excited to like start using those. Um, yeah, there's a lot. That's like an entire palette right there. We come to the point where you probably have all been waiting for, and that's the stuff that smells good. Yes. So we are going to start with Frosting Company because I'm a Frosting Bell, and which basically means that they're gonna send me some stuff to share with you guys. Um, they are just, it, I just love this company so much and like what they stand for. So what they're sending me now is stuff from their spring line. So they like sent us a list and they were like, so what of these items do you wanna try? And I was like, let me choose the ones that sound good to me. Right. The first thing 
is this lip smoothie and it is in the shade Brooklyn. This is one of their first like actual lip products besides the lip scrub that they have used. And I don't think it has a smell really. Do you? Not really, I'm not getting no, it. No, but it has a really nice color, but it is a lip balm. It, I feel a little smoothie, but it's more like a balm. It's really soft and there's really not a color to it. Like you can see it right here. Like you can't even see anything. It's just a very like, nice natural color like already the buzz around this has been really good so i'm excited for that yeah this was the one thing that i was like i'm getting this <laughs> their body butter frostings are always really good this one is southern peach and you know i'm like obsessed with peach right yeah, now yeah the there's some body butter right there it's like kind of it's like solid but you you know it melts mm -hmm. it again it's peachy so good because a lot of times they use obviously cocoa butter in this mm -hmm. to make it and a lot of times you get i mean for me i smell mostly the cocoa butter mm -hmm. i'll get a little bit of the other scents but this one you are smelling mostly the peach mostly so the peach really yep. good on the spot all right so the other thing i got is this and this is i believe a like mermaid bath fizzy i want to say so it's kind of like this purple on the top with this ombre green going on mm -hmm. Ooh. I cannot place what it smells like. There's like a fizzy soda, but ooh, bubble gum. It, there could be some bubble I'm gum in there. Bubble gum scent, kinda. But it, it also smells yeah. like a fizzy bubble gum. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's like almost a carbonation to it. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, yeah, it's like it's like kind of a sweet candy smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. And lastly, lip scrub. This one's called a Bombshell Lip Scrub, and I love. I don't know, it doesn't really tell you what the scent is, but if I was looking at this, I would say it's maybe cinnamon. Mm, yeah, oh, okay, I remember Okay, that okay, so inside of it, it looks like there's peppermint pieces, like candy cane pieces almost. Mm -hmm. No, Red Hots. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. Like, it's Red Hots. Like Red Hots. Yeah, it <sighs> smells like that, like that, or like hot tamales, the little jelly oh, candies. Oh, that's going to be awesome on your lips. These are so great. I use them before I go to bed every night. <laughs> Keep my lipsticks for the And that's great with the peppermint smell. Very uh, oh, yeah. aromatic and uh, yeah. So that's what I got from For um, Frosting Company. This is not all of the products in their spring line, but it is a couple, so you kind of get a feel of what it is. And I will put my ordering information below along with your 10% off code. If you use Shop Laney, you will get 10% off anything in their shop. Yes. Yes. All right. Lastly, we get to the what is it? The other F. <laughs> Fortune Cookie Whoa. Soap. Yeah, so this is Fortune Cookie Soap, um, and of course because I was a huge Doctor Who fan, they came out with the Man in the Box collection, and then it sold out, and then they pre-ordered it again a couple weeks ago, and I was like, I need to get some of that line. And while I was there, I had like a bunch of credit, so I was like, I'm just gonna get some more stuff, and I did. <laughs> That's what you do. That's what you do there. Um, I'm a huge fan of their uh, whipped cream um, lotion. And so I get a lot and I stock up so that I can just go through it really fast. I have like one here in my bedroom and I have one at work. So, you know, I go through it fast anyway. Let's talk about the ones that aren't Doctor Who related first though. So which one of these two do you want? Of course, he always picks the one I like, oh, but whatever. Okay. No, 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 I don't okay. care. I don't okay. care. No, 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 okay. no, no. Sorry. Okay, so this one is called Tangle in the Tinsel. And the reason why I got this one is because it is a scent that they are getting rid of. Um, so it was like on their get it before it's gone. And I always heard people talk about how they love this scent, so I was like, I'll try it. So it is kind of like this pinkish whipped cream thing happening. And it kind of smells like floral sugar. Yeah. I guess, maybe? Yeah, it's sugary smelling. Pretty yeah, there sweet. is like a floral to it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, uh, yeah. It's very sweet though. If you like the sweet scent, it's a little- I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's adequate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. This one is rum butter, and what? you can kind of get a sense of what they're going for with that uh, font. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's supposed to be like butterbeer. Yeah, we've had the official butterbeer, so mm. let's see if it compares. It is sealed for our protection. It not only is it like plastic wrapped on the outside, but it has like the little safety seal on Whoa. the inside. This is probably one of my favorites. It's yeah. so good. It smells like caramel frosting. Caramel butterscotch. Ooh, that's so nice. good. Nice. Did you get it on your nose again? No, not okay. this time. <laughs> <laughs> there was something we were smelling last night, and I just like <laughs> dove it like right into my nose. <laughs> All right, so now from the uh, 
Doctor Who line. Unfortunately, I didn't really like a lot of the sense descriptions when I went on their site for this line, so I got the two that I really liked. Um, so the first one is the Fish Fingers and Custard, which was the one thing I knew I was going to get when I got in there. Um, and I love that it has the blue packaging, so it's very, you know, Doctor Who. Um, also with the safety seal. And it basically smells like custard cake batter. Love yeah, that. Yeah, like the bakery scent. Yes. Stuff. What you got? And this is a spray leave-in conditioner wibbly wobbly timey wimey things is the name i can't quite put my finger on it yeah i can't either but it's like a clean a little bit of florals a little, a little floral but more fruit yeah fruity floral clean smell yeah. but it's nice like that would yeah. be nice like just just put it in hair scent in hair. yep but yeah cool, cool scent. yeah yeah Ooh. so that's all we have for all of this um, uh, yeah. And not even 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, it probably will be Although we have like 10 seconds. So, thank you so much for watching. Ordering information down below. Until next time, keep calm. Stay zany. Bye bye. bye, -bye.